All right, this is a quick overview of our hopper lesson and kind of the coding environment. So just a quick overview, we have our code library over here on the left. This is where we're gonna find all of our different code blocks. Right now, it's set for just the code blocks we need for this lesson, but if I click on the lesson button down at the bottom and click Spike Prime, I can actually see all the different blocks in the Spike Prime coding environment. We can also add blocks here. There's additional blocks that we can add if we want. Um, and we can even make our own blocks. So we can make a new block if we want. All right, I'm gonna just go back so we're only looking at the blocks that we need for this lesson. A um, Couple other things, we have our brick up here. This kind of gives us um, a quick dashboard. It shows us which motors are plugged in, where they currently sit. So if I want them to kind of be almost to zero, and you'll notice that they kind of will hover between, you know, three to five numbers. They kind of go back and forth. And that's just, you know, one degree of rotation is pretty sensitive. And so as you like set them down, turn them, you're gonna notice um, that there's a little bit of a wobble here. It will also tell you there's a gyro sensor inside. So as I'm moving this in my hand right now, it's giving me tilt angle, pitch, yaw, and roll. Um, so it is handy that there's an internal gyro sensor inside. Uh, we can manage the programs that are on our robot. And if we had a sensor, we could be collecting data. So that's our dashboard. Click the X to leave and come back here. All right, this is our uh, coding work, work uh, space right here. The yellow event block tells a stack of blocks when to go. In this case, it says when program starts. So when I hit my play button, which is down here in the bottom corner, it will go in order top to bottom. So the first things it's gonna do is it's gonna set our movement motors and set the movement speed. So when I click on set movement motors, it tells me that my motors are plugged into E and F and I'm setting E and F. If I accidentally plug my motor into D, let me do that right now. You'll see it pops up and it shows the motor icon next to D. This is pretty handy just to see, you know, what, what things do I have plugged in and where are they plugged in? All right, and then the purple are lights on the hub. Um, when you first turn it on, you see a nice little heart. And then on here, it's gonna count three, two, one. So it's displaying um, those pixels and for a duration of one second. So before it goes on to the next block, it's gonna go that entire second. If you were to put this at 10 seconds, it would show the number three for 10 seconds before moving on to the next block. All right, and then our final block down here is move forward because we told um, the program what motors um, are gonna be move, are used for movement, E and F, then all we have to do is say move straight and it will move motors E and F forward. If we want it to go backwards or we want it to turn uh, right or left, we can do that as well. All right, to run your program, you're just gonna hit the play button. Um, and right now it is set for uh, program zero, but if you wanted to set it as a different number, you can. And we're gonna get into this a little bit later in the week, um, you know, just ensuring program management. All right, um, the last thing I just kinda wanted to show you is some of the modifications that you can do for this activity. So some things that I'd encourage you to play around with is different movement speed, um, changing how long it's moving forward. If you want to remove uh, bricks from a stack, you just kind of drag them off the stack. Maybe we just get rid of the three, two, one, so it just starts going right away. And if you wanted to delete something, you can drag them over and drop them back into the library and they go away. If for whatever reason you make a mistake and you need to undo, you've got some undo buttons down at the bottom that will undo. You can also zoom in um, or recenter if you're like down here and you need to um, recenter your, your code. Okay, um, if you wanted to do any extensions like adding sounds, you need to click down here at the bottom and go to Spike Prime so we can see all the blocks. 
and then here are all the sound blocks that you have. I encourage you just to play around with them, see what they do, see what happens, um, see what kind of song you can make using the, the beeps, see what all these different um, adjustments do, and just the more that you play around and experiment, the more that you will learn. Uh, the other thing that you could do um, is playing around with the different lights. So seeing what kind of lights you can do. We don't have the infrared sensor hooked up right, or sorry, the ultrasonic sensor hooked up right now, um, but this one does light up too. But you know, just the more that you can learn about these lights and sounds today, um, the more confident you're gonna feel in your programming. All right, when you are ready to go, you will just hit the play button and watch your hopper go. All right, that's it. I hope you have a wonderful time today.